You want a great book selection that'll open your kids' minds to learning about different places around the world, but it's expensive. You can get books for free by calling up your local public school and saying, hey, I'm a homeschooler, or maybe you're not a homeschooler, but I would like to go through your free books. Anything that you're getting rid of at the end of the year, could I come check it out? That's what I did with my local public school, and now they call me every year, and even some of the teachers have sought me out to say, hey, I'm getting rid of books, would you be interested? This is a stack of picture books I just picked up today that would help teach my kids about the world. I'm gonna give you a quick view here of what I got, but make sure that you are following along because every week I post a new short book review of books from around the world. You can find them listed below in categories uh, or on my channel in the playlist by continent and then it lists what country each book is from to help you for those situations. Okay, the first is Water Princess. We've actually already uh, read this one and I have a review for it coming out. This is a really great book. I was so excited to see it there. Boundless Grace, I don't know about it, but it seems like it takes place in Africa, so I'm excited to check it out. Millions of Cats. This is the way we eat our lunch. Now, I am excited about this one. This is how kids around the world eat what they eat for lunch. Very neat. You can also just check these all out from your local library, I'm sure, and save yourself a ton of money. Tiki Tiki Timbo. Tiki Tiki Timbo. I don't know. We're gonna try it out. Hey Al. I probably won't do a review on all these books, but I will make sure to leave reviews on the ones that are my favorites. Too many tamales. Latkes, latkes, good to eat. I'm excited to read that one. Grandfather Tang's story. Say hola to Spanish. Yeah, my kids are actually in a Spanish co-op group right now, um, and I think think maybe their Spanish teacher read them this book, so uh, I have to ask them about that. At the Crossroads, this book takes place in South Africa. I know that we've read this one before, and I didn't own it, so I was really excited to now own this one. Pablo's Tree, although for South, America, South Africa, I'd also actually recommend Herd Boy over this one, but it's still a good one. Pablo's Tree, uh, you and me together, moms, dads, and kids around the world. It's just like what it sounds like. What do families look like around the world? And grandfather's journey. Reading immigration stories is a really good way to explain to your kids what life is like in other places too, because they often talk about those cultural differences in those books. So it just kind of helps to point things out. I've actually never read this one either. I know it's on the, like the five, in a, I'm pretty sure it's in the five in a row list. And for some reason I've never read it. So I'm excited to check that one out too. Have you read any of these books? Tell me in the comments if you would like to see other books that we got from our haul. You can go check them out on my other channel, which I will try to link here and then see some of those videos linked here. Go ahead and click. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.